Hello and welcome back to a new edition of Halftime. I'm your host, Brady Weaver, and today on the show we have Lindsay Smythe teaching me how to do some running techniques and some warm-ups. Let's see how that goes. So we start by holding our knee. Okay. Like a, a knee hug. Yeah. And then we'll go and take our right foot mm -hmm. to the left arm, kind of start pulling up, hamstring pull. Uh -huh. Really, really get that. I would say. Ooh, you should be feeling it right here. Oh, I do feel it. <laughs> All right. And then we'll um, go down, kind of reach down your, your toes. Oh, we got to be flexible here. All right. Where do you feel it? Feel it back here. Mm -hmm. Yup. Right mm -hmm. Arm, Arm swings. swings. Arm swings. Yeah, yeah. Shake out your arms a little bit. Okay. sort of like breathing techniques that I should know because like when I was running in high school when I every time I tried to run or something like that I always ended up having like a sore throat afterwards because it would always I, I don't think I was breathing right sore throat is it's hard to avoid yeah <laughs> usually I start off the race adrenaline kicking in mm -hmm. and you just have to relax relax your breathing kind of breathe in in through your nose out through your mouth okay and just keep a good form just keep the shoulders down what would you consider as a good form to you? Straight, arms straight. Arms straight. When you get tired in the race, like that's not good. So, so everything else kind of folds in. So you have to have your hands open? Do you, would, you, would they teach you how to do, like, you're either hands open or hands closed? I used or, to run in middle school with my hands closed. Yeah. Kind of need you to open up. <clears throat> Stay relaxed. That's the biggest thing. What makes it better with the hands open, you know? Better technique, yeah. I guess. Okay. Yeah. They're loose, not so tight, and rigid, building up. Mm -hmm. Now, is there any way of like telling, like, if there's different methods of running for longer distance or shorter distance? Like, is there any mental thought in your head, like, of what the difference is between long and short running distances? Definitely. When you're going longer, you just can't think about how many more miles you have left. Just keep your head up. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to take everything I learned today and we're going to do a little competition, a 200 meter competition. And we're going to actually start this right now. get my running game a little bit better. Hopefully next semester I'll be running into her spot, hopefully, for the team. That's all the time we have today on Halftime. I'm your host, Brady Weaver. Back to you.